Seven years ago, 12 year old me was very bored because my parents put a 30 minute limit on video games. I figured that if I could make games myself, the limit wouldn't apply. This is when I decided that I would learn to code. I picked Python because it was the only language I knew of at the time. I installed the interpreter, googled some tutorials, and within a few months of using Python, I started to learn Pygame, which is a graphics library for Python. In the last few years, I've tried messing around with engines like Unity or Godot a bit, and I even participated in a game jam using Godot. When I was 12, I don't even think I knew what a game engine was. To this day, I'm still glad I chose Python over something like Unity. There are a bunch of ways to get into game dev, and in my opinion, there isn't really a one-size-fits-all method. Ultimately, the ideal route depends on what you're trying to do. When deciding where to start, there's one major choice that a lot of people seem to forget about. It's a decision of whether or not to use a game engine. Engines come with a bunch of built-in functionality that allows you to make complex games with minimal knowledge. They also handle a lot of messier stuff that goes into rendering, which is a big deal if you want to do 3D stuff. This is usually done through some layers of abstraction, and you interact with that abstraction rather than using the lower level methods that things like graphics libraries use. If you want to get into game dev and your only goal is to make games, then an engine is probably the right choice for you. However, there is a bit more to this story than there seems. If this was all there was to it, then I wouldn't be happy with the route I took. One of the major differences in using an engine or not using one comes down to what exactly you're learning. While you do learn the programming language your engine uses, assuming you're not using blueprints with Unreal or something, you're primarily learning to use the game engine and how to make use of its built-in functionality through the abstraction that it provides. On the other hand, if you learn to make games without an engine by using a graphics library or something similar, you're spending a lot more time making your own systems. There's so much to learn that an engine normally does for you, such as the way you store and render a world or the way you handle entities. When you go this route, you'll get to know your language of choice even better than if you had chosen an engine, and you'll get much more experience that will force you to develop your problem-solving skills. You'll be more likely to think about how something could be made rather than whether or not there is a library or some software that does what you want. The skills you get are significantly more transferable than the skills you'd get while learning to use a game engine. One of the things that's worth noting here is that it's also easier to go from using a graphics library or something like that to using an engine rather than the other way around. The overwhelming majority of people who get into game development are not able to turn it into a sustainable career. Learning game dev without engines gives you a significantly more transferable skill set that can prepare you for working in the computer science industry. Not only are the working conditions better than the game dev industry, but the pay is better as well. As I stated before, if you're looking to get into game dev just to make games and you either want to get in with little effort or you intend to work in the industry, using an engine is probably the right choice. There are some cases where there are benefits to using graphics libraries that you can't get from engines, but that doesn't affect as many people as you might think. If you want to get into game dev while also preparing yourself for a future in the computer science industry, learning to make games from the ground up may be a better option. So overall, this might be a better option if you aren't 100% certain you want to be working in game dev. As I stated earlier, it's significantly easier to transfer from building games from the ground up to using engines rather than the other way around, so this is the better option if you aren't 100% certain that you want to be working in game dev. Personally, my 7 years of experience with Python that I got from using a graphics library over an engine has landed me a job and I regularly get smaller freelance jobs that pay very well. It also gave me the skills to get into a ton of other projects that have given me even more experience in the computer science field. If you're interested in going with the no engine route at this point, you've got a ton of options. If you like Python, obviously there's Pygame, which is what I use. Pygame is good if you like pixel art and you don't have an interest in 3D stuff. There's also PyOpenGL if you want to get a bit lower level and get even better performance. If you like Java, there's LWJGL. If you like Lua, there's Love2D. If you like C++, there are libraries for OpenGL, or you can use SDL2, which is what Pygame is a wrapper for. Recently, Raylib popped up, which is a graphics library that's available for a wide variety of languages. Like seriously, it's a lot. It may be worth considering. I have my bias towards using Python though, since that's what I've used 
for the last seven years. I do know other languages, but Python's also the most widely used language in the world after JavaScript, according to the Stack Overflow developer survey. I'm pretty sure it has the widest variety of use cases as well. It's used for web development, bots, AI, data science, automation, computer vision, scraping, and so much more. That's pretty much it for this video. I plan on making a video about why Python has huge potential for use in game development in the future and why most of the beliefs about its use in game development are misconceptions. That video will be somewhat of a sequel to this video. This is my first time saying this after 70 or so videos on my channel, but please subscribe if you're interested in that. Hopefully I'll see you guys later.